I see you clicking on each individual clip to grab the bit you want and then going to the next one and adding the bit you want and then going to the next one. Hmm. But did you know there's a better way? It's called the Source Tape and thanks to the new DaVinci Resolve 20 update, which is still in beta, by the way, you'll need to download it for yourself from the Blackmagic support website, which I've linked down below. But thanks to that update, the source tape is now available on the edit page. Huzzah! This is something I've wanted for quite some time because I love the source tape. I think it's one of the best ways to cut things together within DaVinci Resolve. And previously, it was only available on the cut page. Now it's on the edit page, which is where I like to spend most of my time. So it's good news indeed. It's actually better than it's ever been because it also now works with power bins and smart bins. And yes, it's available for those on either the studio version or the free version. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to use it. And it is dead simple. So we've got an empty timeline here and I've got a media pool full of clips over here on the left. Now above your preview window, you've got these three little icons this one in the middle is new and it's called Source Tape. If we give that a click, what it will simply do is grab all of the clips from your currently selected bin. So I've got loads in here and it will put them all on this big temporary timeline here. So we can scrub through and review them all really quickly. Now you'll notice as I put my playhead here between this section on the left, it will highlight that clip within the media pool. These white lines represent the sections between individual clips. So if I move over to this next one, it will jump to the next clip, over to this next one here, it will jump over to this clip. So the correct clip will be highlighted within your media pool. Now the order of the source tape is linked to the order of the bin. So if I click on this sort icon here, it's currently sorted by clip name. Let's change this to time code, just for example's sake. And now the source tape has also changed. So whatever order the bin is in, is gonna be the order the source tapes in. Then if you want to start actually selecting clips and putting them on your timeline, you can simply use your I and O keys to mark ins and outs, and then click and drag to drop them straight onto your timeline like so. Or you can use your keyboard shortcuts like F12 to insert and all that sort of thing. You can also select sections over multiple clips at once. So if I mark an in there and an out all the way over there, I can then click and drag to add all of those individual sections. If we only want to add the video, let's do a new in and out. As we hover over our preview window, we get these little icons. I can click on the video one, drag that down to just add the video. And then let's just do a second section. This time we'll use the audio waveform icon, bring this down and then we'll just get the audio. Hopefully straight away you can see how useful that is. You're no longer clicking the individual clips. You can do it all in one big go. It's super handy. I really, really like it. But there are a couple of handy little things which can make your life even easier. And the first one being, organize your footage into bins. So if I just right click within this master area here and go to new bin, I'm gonna create one called drone, for example, and we'll move these clips into my drone bin. And let's just do another one called LA, put those in LA like so. Because the source tape looks at your currently selected bin, you can make your life easier by organizing everything into bins. So now with the source tape open, if I go to drone, we're just gonna get the two clips that are in this drone bin. If I go to my LA bin, we're just gonna get the however many clips there are from this bin. So it just makes life easier and you can see things in a bit more detail. But at any time, we can select both of those folders and then we get a source tape which contains both the LA clips and the drone clips. And the next one, keyboard shortcuts. Well, keyboard shortcut really. There is a keyboard shortcut which can make your life even easier and that is the Q key on your keyboard. The variation of this is Shift and Q. So it's dead easy to remember. Q, Shift and Q, let me show you what they do. So I've got my source tape open here for this LA bin. And if I hit Q on my keyboard, I can really quickly just jump back to the timeline. So then I can scrub through this timeline. I've got the preview window so I can see exactly what I'm doing, make any edits, any amendments, do all that sort of good stuff. And then when I want to add more clips to my timeline, I simply hit Q once again, and I'll jump directly back into this source tape. So then I can start to mark some new sections and bring them down onto my timeline. We'll do another one, bring it down. 
I can then simply click within the timeline and it will jump back to the timeline preview. And then if I hit Q once again, we're back within our source tape. Now, Shift and Q allows you to drill into these individual clips. So at the moment, let's say I want to do an in and out for this section here, but maybe it's a little bit small within my preview window. If we just make sure that our source tape playhead is on this clip, and then we hit Shift and Q, we can jump into this individual clip. So now I've got it full length on my preview window. I can then do an in and an out, bring it down onto my timeline like so. That will jump straight back to my timeline view. If I hit Q, I'm back in that individual clip. But if I want to get back to my source tape, I hit Shift and Q once again, and we're back in the source tape. Now we can go Q for timeline, Q for source tape. This individual clip here, we'll do a Shift and Q, and now we're in this individual clip. Shift and Q again, back on the source tape, Q again, back on the timeline. Now in the intro, I also mentioned that they have improved the source tape because it now works with both power bins and smart bins, which I don't think it did before. So I've got my power bins open here and I've set up a demo. It doesn't make the most sense, but I've got a demo folder and within here, there's a bunch of different clips. So with this power bin open, so power bins are folders with clips that are shared amongst all of your projects, we can hit Q and we're now in a power bin source tape. So I can just go through, select any sections from these clips within my power bin, drop them straight onto my project, job done. That's really, really handy. And then smart bins are even handier. So smart bins allow you to create kind of custom filtered folders. So these will automatically sort your footage into different frame rates or different resolutions or whatever without you having to do it manually. I've actually made videos about the smart bins in the past. Might need an update actually, so that might come soon as well. But I'll link my old videos down below for you. So I've already got a smart bin set up. I've got one for anamorphic because I like to shoot anamorphic and this will automatically filter all of my anamorphic shots. So rather than me having to create my own bin, I can simply go to anamorphic and this will only show me the clips which are anamorphic. So there we go. And now with that open, I can simply go to my source tape and now we've got a source tape just for my anamorphic shots within this project without me having to create an additional bin. You could have one for 120 frames, 60 frames, 30 different frame rates, or ones with audio, ones without audio, and all that sort of stuff. You could even set one up for subclips, which is another handy little trick. Again, I've made a video all about subclips, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link that down below as well. So that is the new source tape on the edit page within DaVinci Resolve. I think that's pretty much everything you need to know to get started. If you found this useful, do give me a like, comment, subscribe, all that other YouTube nonsense. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.